there, there was definitely a more focus to detail and you know it was a lot of good dialogue back and forth in the film session and and our practice yesterday our film session this morning I mean I think guys are just locked in you know we just look each game is an opportunity for us to shrink that gap between in the win loss column and uh tonight was another step in the right direction but uh Kudos to Charlotte. They're tough, man. You have to beat them the full 48 minutes. You cannot relax. Uh, they have some really capable shooters over there, some high-level playmakers. And so, yeah, we had a little slippage in the second half, giving up 70 points. But at the end of the day, you know, a win is a win. And anytime you can win in this league, you should be feeling thankful and grateful. And uh, we are just that. And looking forward to getting back to our home floor. Uh, another 40-plus point night for LeBron uh, at the end of a trip like this. Uh, where are things coming so easily on the offensive side for him? What, what are you seeing the most? I just think he's taking his time and, and really looking at what the defense is trying to do to him. And, you know, there was times where he had to be a, will, he had to be a willing passer, and he was just that, you know, just uh, whether it's, he's going to attacking downhill, um, making his three ball, um, Running out, getting out, running in transition. Um, there's a variety of ways he's he's on the attack. And uh, again, they they had a couple of possessions, a few possessions where they were trying to blitz him. And again, him finding an open man, making plays for other guys. You know, forces the defense to play you honest. And um, you know, just another magnificent night for him. Uh, what's going on with Russ? Uh, it, was that foot bothering him in the first half or w what do you know? Yeah, well, I just got the report that he had foot soreness um, at halftime, so, um, you know, as a, as a staff, we just decided to shut him down. Okay, and, um, you know, the numbers you mentioned, the, the second chance points, points of turnovers, you said 46 the last game, tonight I believe 16. Yeah. Um, where did you see the adjustments there from your group? Just us taking our time, um, you know, and, and, and really trying to make sure we execute offensively. Uh, we make good passes in transition. Once we got in the half court to play with pace, to make sure we connect on our screens and guys playing downhill and not so much east to west, wasting dribbles, wait, wasting seconds off the shot clock. And then defensively, just all five gang rebound and everyone in the lineup trying to get a defensive rebound. And um, that's the way, that's what it's going to take for us to win. Um, so just guys, you know, putting bodies on bodies, rebounding outside that area, and just really, you know, zeroing down on the, on, on, on that part of the game to finish our, our defense. We have a lot of great defensive possessions that go unaccounted for because we're, we're giving teams second or third opportunity. So that, that's been a, a primary focus for us in, in our film sessions and our practices. Did, did Austin tweak something in that second half, or was he? No, not that okay. I know of. Uh, we just went with the five guys that, that finished the game. Gotcha. I mean, he's 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 feeling good. You know, he is in a good space physically, and and he's really at this point where I think the game is completely slowed down for him, where he can see things three, four plays ahead, three, four, five seconds ahead, and he's doing a great job. As I mentioned just here earlier, like knowing when the attack, really getting out running, getting himself some easy buckets in transition reading the pick and roll, whether he's setting the screen, whether he's handling, um, reading how the defense is playing them, whether they're blitzing or hedging or whatever. And he's making the right play. And uh, it's giving his teammates around him a ton of confidence where teams just can't collapse the defense on LeBron. And when guys step up and make shots, you know, Troy Brown making threes, uh, Pat Bev making threes, uh, Thomas Bryant rolling and finishing in the paint. Um, Austin coming out and making plays. So it, it's get the ball moving. It's, it's, it's giving our team a ton of confidence, and, and um, hopefully we continue to trend in that direction. Darvin, what did you think of the job Pat and Dennis did on Lamelo? And um, did it, it? It seemed like, especially in the first half, that mm -hmm. they they really kind of harassed him and sort of knocked him out of the game in some ways. Yes, indeed. They 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 you know took turns guarding them straight up um I thought they were phenomenal in pick and roll refusing to be screened not laying on screen staying active getting them multiple efforts to make sure they got to a contest or to work to get back in front of them um and it just made it tough you know he still ends up with 24 points but 
you know, that's just that kid is 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 has elite level talent, and you know, it's, it's hard to shut people out, but. The biggest thing you want to do, especially when you have multiple uh, perimeter <clears throat> defenders, and, and specifically two such as Dennis and Pat, is you, you let them both have their time, their share of time on them, and you just try to make things as difficult as possible. And I thought also whenever he played downhill, we did a great a great job showing them a crowd in the, in the paint and our bigs just showing their hands and not giving them a direct line to the rim. All right, I recognize there's two days off coming into this one, but of all the players in the game, LeBron in year 20 led – everyone in minutes what what goes into managing that number on a night-to-night basis and uh, you know what do you feel like when you see the win but it's 39 and a half minutes for LeBron it's just like you know the lineup I finished with and we kind of rolled them um called a couple timeouts to get them some breathers but whoever has a great rhythm it's tough it's different from game to game you know we have other guys that's rolling and, and I look down there and Brian you know wave at me like no let them keep going let them keep going and it's going to be nice where he has it going like he did tonight in last game, and and I'm looking at him like I want to come get you. And he said, "I'm good, I'm good." It just the constant communication and collaboration with, you know, picking your spots and whether to sub them or call a timeout and a night like tonight and a, a night like last game where he he's just got it going not just from a scoring perspective but a playmaking perspective and the way he's rebounding and the way he's defending. I mean, I just, you know, you just want to ride him. And he allows you to do that because he takes such great care of himself. And so uh, it's a great luxury to have. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.